that are uh, were used last night. We get uh, new ones for every show. So what we do is have two sets that we're freezing and um, we thaw one up overnight and then uh, put a new set in the freezer. And each of those, these rocks, you'll see has a, um, a little screen on the bottom that's tied with uh, stainless steel wire to the bolt that goes through the middle of the rock. And that acts as reinforcement for the ice. And also in case it separates from the rock, it's actually physically attached so the ice won't just fall right off. So right now I'm just gonna empty these things and uh, get them refrozen. For making the ice on the bottom, we use a couple of uh, nine inch cake pans. And uh, there's two types around. There's a, there's a steel ones like this, and then there's the aluminum ones we bought. Anyways, the aluminum ones kind of get bulged out on the bottom up to the freeze. I usually push them all back before I put them in the freezer, and that way they get uh, more of a concave bottom. Not really, kind of maybe flattens out. So I put, uh, I just put, put them in the uh, freezer there, and then I'll get some water, and I fill them up to within about an eighth of an inch from the top push a bunch of water onto the bottom of the freezer. There's a curling stone and uh, again it's got that um, uh, half inch mesh on the bottom tied to it and I just go, can you see that? And I just go down here and plunk it in, you see a little bit of water came out. Right before I put the next one in just to keep it hold bottom of the freezer from freezing up. Okay, so we probably need a couple of deep freezes. Uh, we found these at a thrift store and bought them off of somebody. Um, depending on the size, um, we'll determine how many you need. For each show, you need at least six stones. Three red, three blue. I put an extra blue one in because um, at the, in the last scene of Act 2, there's one stone that starts off on the ice and I want to have ice on the bottom of that in case it gets hit so it'll slide away. So um, I always make one extra blue one. So anyways, if you look in the fridge here, freezer, you'll see I've got two, two stones uh, frozen on the bottom. You're going to have to make some type of a gadget, something like this. It's just some 1x4 with uh, some 2x12 on the side, which uh, this size custom to your freezer and slides over top of the rocks like that so you can get the second layer bottom and a little squirt out the side good okay we're here the next morning now the uh, rocks and the ice should be frozen what is it here might about minus 12 fahrenheit so um the uh, cake pan's frozen pretty solid to the bottom. Um, if you, what I do is I have a bucket with about uh, an inch or so of warm water. I just stick it in there momentarily and the pan falls right off. And so now there's the ice stuck to the bottom and it's ready to slide. And uh, so that's that one. The aluminum cake pans are a little bit tougher. It's stuck on there just the same as before. But I use a uh, little pry bar like that you can use a wide screwdriver sometimes you sometimes they fall off sometimes they don't you just got to give it a little, a little nudge and uh, there it is okay there's all the rocks uh, notice there's one extra blue one now the doubles team needs three and the other team needs three and then there's the one to start off the uh, last scene yeah. so uh, it's morning we've got showtime tonight is at 7 30 so um, I'm putting these back in the freezer I just did all this this morning just to get this a lot faster than trying to scramble before the show. Uh, so to put them back in the freezer, I've got some parchment paper that I just want to lay down just so that it doesn't stick to the steel on the bottom. Um, I find it, doesn't, it never sticks to the wood, that's okay. But, uh, okay, and then I'll get this. Double? Double? 
Tall and proper. Let it fly, boys. 